perfect day to learn something new. I'm Al Alok Srivastava and you are no doubt watching Network Nuts YouTube channel. So a very small uh, piece of information I wanted to share with you. Let me log in with it. So it's our new uh, machine REL 8 which we are using. So what exactly I'm going to show you is the new hard disk naming convention. If I sh so I'm running here, uh, ignore these protein supplement messages. So if I show you, oh sorry, so I am using rel 8. So there is a new naming convention here. So if I give you fdis hyphen L here, what you see here is a different device naming convention. It's not coming as SDA and SDB which was coming uh, by convention it used to come as sda and sdb and so on so the first thing guys you need to understand is what is this nvme what is this new naming convention what does that mean so conventional naming convention of your hard drives are dev sda for the first hard disk and dev sdb for the second hard disk we know it so when you are seeing say slash dev slash sda or i i can put it x so x can be changed with a or b or c so that means that we are using the uh, the conventional hard disk your as your ssd hard disk that connects to your machine via a sata bus so so when your hard disk connects via a sata bus so where we have device naming convention like SDA and SDB, fair enough. So which we used to have up till rel 6, we have never seen or at least I have never seen device naming convention with NVMe. So if you see NVMe, so that indicates the newer NVM disk. So NVM stands for non-volatile memory and NVMe is non-volatile memory express. So instead of a normal SATA port, my machine is using the NVMe, NVM Express, Non-Volatile Memory Express port. So what, there is nothing uh, like uh, you need to dig into more, just need to, un to understand what does NVMe means and how the naming convention goes. So the first hard disk will be NVMe 0N1 and the second hard disk will be NVMe 0N2. So NVM Express is basically a logical interface that has been designed to use low latency and it does internal parallel working of the SSD devices. So that makes the processing a faster, it gives you much better performance. And NVMe also allows the hardware and software to fully exploit the level of parallelism in the modern SSD hard disk. And it also reduces the IO overhead and bring you much better performance benefits. So that's a good thing if you are seeing NVMe. So don't get panic. So it's simple as that. So the first device, say dev SDA is actually equal to dev nvme 0 and 1 right so that is it and the first partition obviously in in this hard disk the first partition will be dev nvme 0 and 1 is this that's p1 and then p2 then p3 and so on so things goes like this so if i just do a control c here sorry and show you fdis hyphen l so it shows you dev nvme 0 and 1 the first hard disk and the dev nvme 0 and 2 the second hard disk right another thing that you need to see here is that because rel 8 they here you are encouraged to use the gpt partition schemes instead of the traditional mbr so this is the mbr hard disk right so if you're seeing the disk label type dos that means it is the partitions are based on the they are using the mbr partition table and you know that in mbr partition table we can have maximum four primary partition or i i, I can write here so in your 
MBR partition table, you can have maximum four primary partitions, or you can have three primary plus one plus twelve. Sorry, logical inside extended, right? So that you have to remember. Extended spelling is wrong. You're giving. Whereas in case of the GPT, the new, not the Game of Thrones, in GPT you can have 128 partitions and one of the important point is that in MBR, in your MBR disks, the maximum partition size is 2 terabytes. So that you have to understand. Whereas in case of the GPT hard disks, the maximum partition size is eight zettabytes. That's a big number, believe me. So these common things you need to understand. And instead of uh, like your, apart from using the fdisk command, you can also use parted. So I can give parted or if I do a fdis hyphen l so I can use here parted dev nvme 0 n 1 so sorry I have to give the print so I do a either I can do a print here so it shows me see here it is a nvme device device and one around 37 GB the partition type is DOS right so if I do a exit from here and if I again give this parted N2, the second, and I give a print here. So here it shows me that this is again an NVMe device around 11 GB, but it is using a GPT partition table. So using the partition table entry, you can find out that what is a type of the partition table it is using. You can also use LSBLK. It's an old trusted command which still works. So it shows you I have got two hard disks, non-volatile memory express. That is the name. I had already explained you the benefits of using the NVMe logical interface. And this is the partition and it also shows you where it is mounted. So these are the mount points. So that is very helpful. So just remember these small things that what is NVMe in case you encounter NVMe. So don't uh, get like overwhelmed. Oh my God, what is going on? It's simple stuff. Just using, they are using a RHEL 8 using a NVM Express logical interface to give you much better performance. So that's all. It's a very brief and a small video. I hope you have liked it. Keep on learning new, new things. Keep on learning. Bye-bye. Take care. God bless.